everyone good good day so we are back to our weekend again with the, our continuation of the program so today we are going to learn about uh, css positioning so without wasting time uh, let's start first of all we need to create our folder or our project in a root directory here we say css positioning mm -hmm. so what next we first open with the visual code studio or if you don't have fine drag the file inside your vs code studio while it's open okay so like this the visual code is opening and then uh, while it's opening first of all uh, we need to define our project here file we start by index dot html and wait it's creating file for you can see here it's loading even here say running file creates participants just wait a moment there then you type the word html which is the uh, which which is what what i found like it's just the most easiest you need only to to uh, to remember this for later html very simple you don't need to cram writing everything from beginning html only then you select this option number two here html file so you will have this boiled code here you don't need to start typing everything from beginning like you are trying to be intelligent no 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 copy doesn't do anything here so here you have the title here we can change our title to css all of you guys know css stands for cascade styling sheet okay it enables us to beautify our content or our entire web page so here we can say position position positioning okay so all of you know how to run a project simply click here on go live okay go live here so even you can see here it's showing already uh yeah it's even already running and it's empty you see here css position this is where the title goes on fine here we go back again what next do we want to do uh we have title for the h3 okay let it be c s s we can just say something like hello css positioning like this this is our first headline or heading if you just go up you will see some beautiful text appearing here in black good so what next we want to do something with what positioning positioning uh, let's try to give a class okay here you need to install this uh, extension here called uh, emit extension okay here type emit e m like this e double m e emit is one of the best extensions enable you like to write some shortcuts then it will auto predicts what you wanted to do so just give it a try it's loading my yes my vs code is just open so it takes time plus network also here just type then once it bring go and install just the way how you install what uh, live server in the previous days okay let's go ahead okay we are there uh, here let's give dot okay if you want to put class just type dot dot then you type a class name and then later you click on enter from there it will show you everything assume you want to call this one our uh, box no let us be parent so that you guys can understand the parent parent container okay it's the one going to go container it's the one going to hold all the child inside all the children so here i have parent container so inside i want to add two items which is the child okay you can just say okay dot child remember the class is just dot then type dot child okay child underscore uh, i'll say child one like this we have child one and then we need to have child two if you want to you copy this one and then you paste and then you rename this one or you can just type it afresh all the same okay but try to see the easiest way how you can do things without wasting much of the time that's why we're here for such course to make you guys very very great so here you can just type the word two here okay so this is where we are so by default diff without any content is just nil it's not going to show anything here you can see there's nothing here even if you want to even to highlight it's only highlighting what the first one because diff is not reading in the browser when it is empty so we need to put something inside let's call this one child one and let this one be called child two not x to child two let this one be called child two good 
so what do you think will happen here you see everything start appearing here child one child two but where is one i think it's supposed to be one here good so let's try to to put some color so that we can understand what's going on let's first of all try to put our style css so here give a name you want to give but the extension must be what dot css so for me i want to go with the word ali ali dot css not no 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 rename sorry if you made mistake you can rename right click right click go and here rename ali dot uh, c first first css like this cascade style sheets good here you have your css but it is not link if you say i'm lying okay first of all copy this one or type it out or whatever you want to do copy mm -hmm. go here paste add the curly bracket pass some properties like background color bgc here is a shortcut here let it be uh, red okay good and then if you check from your browser you see nothing is happening here why because it is not link so how do we link our style is very simple put your html uh, boiler quotes here up here below or above our title here okay some people recommend like you put it above title so that it can read fast it doesn't matter okay let's try it here today link l i n k okay what happened you have this one will come out you have a relationship style sheet href is asking you what to put the directory i put dot here because it we are in the root i'm saying like go into the root directory so it will give us this option here which one we want to link let's say you want to link our ali.css you don't need to link html to html it's not gonna make sense okay you want to style it out you want to beautify your content so we need the external css so we click on uh, ali.css here click on this one very good save so what do you think will happen yes the color has been applied meaning our css is being applied or being successfully connected to our html file so let's try to add some some space okay you can see here c and dc they're just like just direct to the edge of this one here i don't like this one to be like this i want to give some space up and bottom so as earlier i've told you guys in the beginning there that uh, is to give you space inside okay something is known as padding then outside this this red okay rectangle it's going to be margin okay for our case we want to go with the padding you can just go here to my uh, parent container i say okay parent container add the padding padding is a pd okay the shortcut pd okay here what can i do give 20 px everywhere then let's see from the browser yes we have some good space now but uh, child one child two is not making different let's add color to them so that we can be able to see the different and adding our positioning so what do you think will happen if you go to uh child one here okay and say okay child one since it is a class remember uh okay child one here is a class okay it has a class not id so how do we call this one is an external css just put dot then we type the word uh, child okay we put the the curly bracket not a square bracket curly bracket then we pass the properties like uh, the background color bgc which is the shortcut always learn the shortcut then here let me say uh, let it be what blue okay you can just type the word blue or if you see blue is not good just click you click just on this one here then you have this option here this color you can move it up or down or yellow okay let's go with the yellow fine okay then we have child 2 okay remember to save so that it can appear there have child 2 here our uh, child 2 okay i can bring it here child 2 dot okay curly bracket then i can say okay let bgc background color let it be what uh, let it be uh, which one can make great sense uh, let it be black black but the problem with the black the text will not appear see so there is text here so i have to change the the old text okay let's go with child one child two let's select first of all select uh, child okay dot okay i want to select everything select child one comma uh child 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 one mm -hmm. add, add 
this one here child one is dot sorry okay you can select two of the things at the same time so that you can be able to customize the one style system so now i want to add color only okay you can say color the color should be white or i can just take it from here or if you know the hash uh, the, the hex code for white is hash okay then ff3 or 6 all of them can make sense so like this what do you think will happen we have add our color to the child element so back to the position now we all know there is five type of positioning okay in css which are the statics you have relative fix and the absolute no we have a stick uh, sorry static relative fix absolute and sticky uh if you want to read more about this one go to w3 school i will drop the link later you guys can go and check from there uh it's really good you can read about it uh, but let me give you a brief uh, definition on them like what do you think will happen with the position uh, is static okay position is static okay you can say an element with the position is static is not positioned in any special way it's always positioned according to the normal flow of the page static it's just normal flow it's just by default okay it's just a default way like everything is just default the child first and uh, the, the child one and child two they are just default following the flow of the html element always so it has no any uh, any what any uh, effect let's say uh, child one okay child one let's say position what do you think will happen you say position static static like this and the self position is static and they say what do you think will happen if you say you will refresh your page it doesn't do anything it's just by default or just the flow of the uh, HTML it doesn't make anything but you say okay position is static we want to do some uh, adding some other stuff like uh, the four the four properties okay some people call them property half top like this should be uh, 10 px okay nothing will happen who's calling me sorry 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 guys uh 10px position 10px let me close my whatsapp to avoid problem close okay good okay, let me close my wifi uh, troubleshoot no wifi off very good so that no one disturb me with the notification okay so we are here position uh, top uh, static okay static top 10 what do you think will happen you see nothing is really happening okay remember if you don't have your uh, internet connection is still your uh, what go live it can run because you don't have many things like uh, other javascript we are cloning from somewhere so that require internet is still going to work so you don't need to have extras like if you don't have internet you cannot code out uh, css and html it's always free okay it will work so here position is static by default it doesn't make any difference it's just a common flow of html okay element how this thing has been uh, stuck on each other so the most important one let's go to the second one which is known as position relative what does position relative uh, do an element with position relative is position relative to its normal position meaning it will give us what uh, chance we can move that element relative okay within that one so what do you think can happen here if we say position instead of uh, static we change this one to relative like this and then say top should be 10 pixels what do you think will happen let's see here you see uh, normally here top it has create a space here top and then move it down uh, with 10 pixels you see it's like kind of moving on top of this one here that means we have right we can move the, our what our child one within this parent container with a relative the relative here is what this parent so we can move it anyhow okay let's try to push it uh, from left okay we have these four properties make sure you practice all of them we have left left should be uh, 10 pixels what do you think will happen here 
if you save it you see it has moved from left side to the 10 px and here you can see it's moving there meaning like uh, it give us okay it's just position uh, it's it's a position relative or position relative it's just normal to its position you can just move things anyhow but within that relative okay doesn't goes beyond you have four properties make sure you try them out have top left we have right right try them out we have even bottom remember if this area is showing you it's telling you have no this uh, semicolon okay bring this one there then we have bottom these properties all work uh, bottom should be like 10 okay uh, you can practice them like this okay let's say let's stop this one by highlight and make control plus what slash like this okay what do you think will happen if you say button is 10 nothing but you need to specify the unit okay the unit is very important that's why i'm showing you all this error to avoid confusion so see what happened bottom is being moved by 10 pixels space and then you can even say okay if that is the case for bottom what if i want right want only right to happen remove that one and then remove this static so, so if you uh, leave the two you can see right is moving here so position this one is just simple relative it enable you to what uh, to move it within its relative and can give you access to move the action up down left bottom without having any problem because by default everything is stuck on each other so you might find like it's difficult for you like to move this from this to that so here relative enable you to move it left top bottom but within its relativity it doesn't go beyond that one so the second one uh one no the third one will be now a position what we have position uh, absolute i'm sure position absolute or position fixed okay let's put fix first of all position fix what does it uh does for us here what does it do okay position fixed good hope i think my screen is clear okay uh, position is fixed we have right uh, let's put this on to top first of all let top be uh, what do you think will happen if the top is zero always try to put everything you see uh, fixed here is like just want to fix something up top zero you see here is top zero but we did not specify left what if we say left is zero here uh, left should be zero also see the magic it will go and the only stop there fixed meaning uh, if you add more content try to scroll this one down okay you will see this one will just stay up there it will not move let's add some lorem epson uh, text oh i close my intent okay i will just copy something here uh, let's go down to our html let's say okay from container parent down here let's add another another p which is the paragraph you guys know this day one let's just try to no let's get text where will i get text from where is my lecture front end back in no oh we need some text that can make sense okay i have this my three articles okay, let it open i will copy the text Just a moment guys i'm copying text where is it okay office is yes, opening genie okay this is react because it's coming for our advanced guys okay let's just copy this one here preface okay copy and to close get back to our code this is the paragraph let's make it twice here save okay so here our css there okay what do you think will happen you see now we have put this one but fixed here make it just fixed as you guys have seen it's good with the button or the social media okay some people put social media on their website here like whatsapp linkedin whatever here they are just fixed this position 
it doesn't move anyhow so this is the benefit of using what fixed position you see if you if you want if you don't want to fix it in the top zero left zero maybe you can bring it here in the middle bottom it just depends maybe you can bring it even in the center here let's try to play with this one okay let's get back to our css here we have top is zero let's say top our top should be uh, uh 50 px okay don't fear to put any big number there so instead of left okay i can customize this one like left should be 100 pixel and then uh, let's see where will it stand you see it's going just to be fixed here it doesn't do anything only thing it can do it can move it outside it can break the rules okay it's no it's not following even the pattern anymore but you can take it and uh, put it wherever you want to put on the screen just by specify the four properties the top uh right bottom and the left okay it's enable you to give you that flow to control your scroll viewports of your uh web or content whatever you are creating so to give you this flow this one can be fixed here you can even take it to the right and there you can even take it to this uh, top right then left there so what do you do about it so here's just simple you can say okay uh you can say right okay right here hash okay right here should be zero and then top should be zero here should be top right zero top zero what do you think will happen it will just go and take this space here and it will stay there but if you are scrolling it doesn't make any difference so this is all about positioning fix how about positioning uh, absolute okay position absolute give you also a flow of control you can still control whatever you wanted to do but soon you say absolute like this okay but the question you want to move this one absolute to what you need to specify to the parent or where a position absolute you first need to specify okay absolute you see there's nothing fixed here this one also move you see before it usually fixed and everything start crawl scroll and leave that one there so absolute can enable us to move it the way we want but let's say position absolute but with the relative here position uh, relative to the parent what different are we gonna get yes here position relative we are telling okay let this child one okay which is yellow be only relative to the reds meaning i can move it just within what within this box which is red i can say okay like uh, there zero where uh, zero here here zero i can say okay top right or can say from the right let it be at uh, 10 px okay then from the top should be 20 px so the only thing that will happen here okay it will only move anyhow we want but within the red rectangle here because it is relative to this one if you don't give relative to this rectangle then it will move in the entire page okay entire page without having any doubt uh why do i open whatsapp sorry uh, relative here if you remove this relative out okay see what will happen you can even bring it down here you can take it even to the bottom nothing will happen and it will be very easy for you to take it down instead of top 20 let's this one go to bottom bottom yeah bottom 20 what happened it's now respecting this one uh bottom 20 okay let's bottom be zero sorry zero you see it will give you flow to move this one anyhow let's say 1000 px right is 10 okay from right it will be 10 you see It even goes very far there so that one is too big uh, let's bring it to 150 at least uh, so that we can see 
it enable us to move within the circle of the relative then just give it this one so that it can be flying everywhere within here or you can even take it down okay uh, to 200 px remember one semicolon also see because we st specify a relative to the what to this one and then this one has gone beyond even what the size of our uh, that one so that's how it will move absolute enable you is either you define relative to what you want to move around or you don't define it all the same okay don't define that one if you want but keep on playing with this one around this is how it works like absolute give you the flow control okay you can play with everything you want to play uh, here's what position to bottom then right yes i can say yeah have absolutely takes mm -hmm, 10 okay let's try to give some sizes to our this one let's say okay width let's give width here should be uh, 150 px and then height also copy this paste here should be height height should be 1 px since we want to add to both of them okay we can just go down here where we have selected two things child one child two here we can just paste this one here so that it can apply to all of them okay so you will have this one here then remove the remove the word to, i think this 150 is too big okay let it be 100 just 100 px here should be 100 px also then see okay so the yellow one for mm, where is positioning positioning okay okay okay, okay here this will first of all stop it let's see okay because the other one was stacked on the other one mm -hmm. we have position uh, absolute for one Mm -hmm. let's take uh, top should be 10 this one take it to top bottom should be 20 px like this you can see it's moving that means you can move this one anyhow let's say uh, let's take this one to bottom right and the bottom is take this one to right okay let this one be right should be zero okay then bottom should be zero also and see what duty will happen here you see it will move you there but let's say relative to our parent container so that it can just stay here within what within our parent container see by defining relative here it just keep uh, moving within what the parent container it will not move even uh, touch some other stuffs here like uh, the stacks or going down or on top of it it will only respect the uh, the red container here that's what we mean by relative to to what to parent container it's only follow the rules of this one it move within here it doesn't go anywhere far so uh, we can always have the practice by removing this one or if you are putting this one it has to be in the content you want that one to be moving within it doesn't need to go beyond that one okay so if you just want to play with it anyhow so you define position absolute here okay then you move it the way you want to move then you will see there it's just there you can try to see it's even crossing what the the, the red rectangle here that's all about uh, position absolute you guys know position fix it keep things fixed and the scroll is possible but it just stay up there now let's see positioning what positioning is sticky what does position stick do for us so let's say okay position sticky this one so this one it's it's finally working with the things like navigation navbar 
you can define in there so home scroll whatever there so that once it's moving you can put some position there like when it's reaching such position it will do something let's try to see some simple definition they say like an alien will position is taking its position based on the user scroll position you see uh, element toggle between relative and the fix this is what it do depend on the scroll position its position relative until a given offset position is met in the v port let's say okay position is sticky let's say when top okay this is uh, the condition for viewport when top reach zero okay what do you think will happen here it's going to you see it's going to be uh, zero okay it's going only to stop when it is zero when top is equal to zero it will stop what do you think will happen see see here you have zero you see zero as soon we enter this uh, text here then it will change so let's try to make it very good in such manner uh, let's bring this one like enough bar okay let's create a very simple enough bar here let's scroll down up html okay here instead of using this one child one child two okay this simple let's convert this one into uh, position okay yeah let's convert this one to navbar let's just go with it the way how we can do the diff very simple okay let's say this one nav uh, navigation Navi na navigation what's wrong with my keyboard okay it's in french navigation okay inside navigation let's add something that like url stand for an order list of li which stand for list uh, let's say here should be home okay and i can copy this one here let this one be home let this one be about about let this one be uh, after about what do we have we have um home about let this one be called uh, download <laughs> sorry <laughs> download let this one be contact good something just like this contact and then let's see up here good we have this one here let's try to to style our navigation color that's our navigation here i think we don't need this child one child two anymore since they are not there I remove it out okay this is the same position we are doing okay here i have navigation okay navigation here we have uh, let the bgc the background color be blue okay mm -hmm. let all text equal to uh, we have blue mm -hmm. let color of text be uh, white hash okay one two three or six of half it will bring you the same result okay let's try to remove some this dots dot out so where, where does it look okay okay how ul okay we can install ul directly okay uh, ul you don't need to put dot because they are just special element they already uh, have a list style should be none okay and see the result okay it has gone but the problem now they are just stuck on each other positioning is static by default here so i want to make them like into the row not column so what do we do about that one uh, you guys will learn this one tomorrow that is uh, going to do something with the display display flex i'm, I'm gonna teach you guys flexbox tomorrow okay okay then we have some space between them how do you deal with this one uh, it's li okay the space here is based on the li okay we can now style our li here li stand for list the item so we can say uh, margin okay we want to give margin everywhere left right uh, it depends okay if you want to give it just from the right of each you can just add the word here right okay margin right then you have the properties here from right to where do you want to put 5px or if you want to add everywhere then you can just go you see now we are getting this space here mm -hmm. uh, let's go to our blue here 
first of all we have uh, something to do with this one display flex justify content these things all i will teach you tomorrow just 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 wait just justify content let the space be between okay so that can give us this enough uh -huh. this one is taking play good so we need to do our what positioning with the our position is sticky with this one that's why i'm demonstrating because we are still in css positioning but this one looks weird okay let it just be somehow good the flex is okay for the moment so positioning our navigation we just go here position okay our position should be is sticky but at what condition when top is equal to zero so what do you think will happen now we have our halo here let's scroll down when top is equal to zero let this thing stick let it not move anyhow now it's moving it's moving it's moving it's moving it's moving when three top what happened it's stuck up there and it's not moving anyhow so this is how it's work okay the condition must meet or must be met okay when we define the four properties either whether top left right bottom you see we have just stated like let's only be a stick when it reach zero at the top so now you are scrolling down scrolling scrolling up 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 as soon as it reach 10 here or zero sorry what happened it is just top and it's not moving anyhow so this is what you can see with many websites like you see their navigation you first by default you see everything good like this but once you start moving it then it's just stuck up there it doesn't go anyhow you can add million of contents down it's just stuck there so this is how position uh sticky work position is static is just the default way of html uh properties being aligned by default so absolute give you a chance to move it wherever you want to move okay relative it just move within the the condition you have stated okay so this is how it is so today we are going to stop here okay make sure you practice using box the way how i use parent and child our children practice them very well then uh, for those who get confused uh, later i will send you guys the the source code you guys can compare with yours and then the video is going to be there on youtube you guys can follow so i can say thank you very much and see you tomorrow have a